Um, we're, uh, yes, we're recording. We're back. It's Monday. It's Watch Me Work. We're going to do what we always do. It's one thing, it's, it's, it, hopefully it's more than one thing you can count on every week, but uh, when we get together, we do the same thing every week. We work for 20 minutes and then we talk about your work and your creative process. We've been doing this show for a long time. I can't remember when we started, a while ago, like 15, 14, 13 years ago. So um, here we are. We're going to work together for 20 minutes and then you're going to uh, ask me your questions about your creative process. Any kind of work you do is welcome. And if you want to get in touch, Lolly will tell you how to get in touch. Go Lolly. Yeah, so if you'd like to ask us a question, if you're in the Zoom, you can do so by raising your hand, which is likely in the reactions tab at the bottom of your screen. If you have any trouble looking for it, uh, you can just message me in the chat and I'll help you out. And then if you're watching live with us on HowlRound, you can send your questions via the Public Theater's Instagram or Twitter accounts or via the Watch Me Work Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Yay. Okay. So let us get started. Here we go. And
All right. We're back. So now here's the moments, here are the moments for your questions about your work and your creative process. Anybody has any questions? Same here. Oh, looks like we have a question from Lou. You should be able to unmute. Thank you. Hi, Hello, so how are you doing today? I'm good. It's good to see you. Good to see everybody. It was so zen there for a minute, but I was like, all right, I'll just jump in and ask my question. <laughs> um, didn't mean to ruin <laughs> the vibes. Um, yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Um, this is my question today because I'm literally working. This is my question on my mind today. So I've been writing. Uh, in a process of writing a long form memoir manuscript. And some days I'm squeezing out like a perfect paragraph in my mind, perfect paragraph. And every word I have to like organize, it's almost like I'm doing a puzzle with the sentences, like da, 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 da. And then sometimes like I am today, I'm writing like a billion words, <laughs> like, and I'm sitting here, I've been thinking a lot about this today. It's like, which one of these things is better? Can I control when one comes and when one doesn't? Not really. So I just kind of ride the wave of it. But I'm just thinking about the process of, the process that I'm inside of. And it's like, I kind of feel like Goldilocks, but I wish I had more of a middle ground. <laughs> like I wish I could do it just right. So I guess my question is, I mean, I work a lot on craft and all these other things and process, but today I'm just thinking literally about like the quantity of the writing when one does writing. Like sometimes I feel so stuck and it's like a 20 word per minute thing. And sometimes it's a 2000, you know, it's like it just barrels out. So I don't know. I just want to talk about like um, mm -hmm. the vol the literal volume of words or right. when one right. writes and I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, which do you prefer? Do you, I mean, because both sounds sound like they have upside. Sorry, I'm going to pick up my phone as I just dropped it. Both yeah. um, sound like they have upsides, right? Or yeah, I think even I even had to qualify when I talked about writing so much. I was like, I care about craft. You know, I think like when I write meticulously like that, I, I sort of take pride in it. It feels like um something really craft and thoughtful. Oh. So I think there's oh. an up upside to that. Mm -hmm. And that and then when I'm exploding like I am today, it's like just the the volume feels exciting but not even that I think the, the quality of my writing feels more surprising to me and then therefore I think the writing itself feels more surprising when I go back to read some of the things where I've like spent two or three days working on this much I feel mm -hmm. like who's that you know like it almost has like a like, like an overwritten cover letter kind of energy where the stuff I'm doing today is like where am I going I don't like I don't know and I like the way that mm -hmm. feels so mm -hmm. And so it's like, you, but you, you're not there every day, right? I mean, you're some days you're in the, yeah, of, you know, the sort of piecing the puzzles together. I mean, come on, you know the answer. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, you know, I think the 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 problem is, you know, like you you getting attached to one thing or another. It's, that sounds very Zen or very like a Pema Children thing. You know, I mean, mm. rain, sunshine, yay. You know, it's the weather. It's good. It's, I, th I think, well, I mean, and what I do is that's why I love, that's one of the reasons why I love the timer. Because if you're going to judge, 
you know, and we do mm-hmm. get into the sun. Is it good? Is it, is it right? Is it, did I have a, did I have a good day? Am I having a good day? You know, that's why I enjoy the timer. Cause it's not about, you know, did I get a hundred words? Did I get five? You know, it's about, I showed up there, there, yay, hooray, 20 minutes or whatever, you know, and then you can sort of check it off your list and feel okay about it. Yeah. And sure, you prefer, sure, you prefer when it all comes out in one day and it's perfect. Yay. <laughs> you know, well, some days it's like that. Some days it's not. You know, I think yeah. the most important thing, like you said, you're showing up every day or, or, you know, most days, you most know, most days. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think the timer, I mean, I love the timer, but you're, but it's interesting because I wasn't using the timer today because I was doing so good. So I thought like, I don't even need to time this because I'm in this great flow. But I think now that I'm talking to you about this and I'm asking this question, it's like, I don't think that was that great because now I've put a quality, I've put like some measurement on the, like, I didn't stop at a specific time. I just, and now I'm like, that was a better way to work. And that feels dangerous. <laughs> to- well, you, well, you can try that. I, uh, I work in a way that I can, you know, can come back tomorrow. Yeah. So whatever I got to do, whatever mind game I have to play, I play the game that's going to help me come back tomorrow. <laughs> that's kind of, that's you know, yeah. If, so if I'm, if I'm playing it in a way that like, ah, it feels dangerous, you know, I'm, I'm not, that's, that's less interesting to me than a way that's going to allow me to come back tomorrow, whatever mm-hmm. that's going to be. That might be kind of, you know, I don't know. Uh, risk averse, whatever this a stockbroker might call it. I don't know. I'm more into the, you know, it's it's it. I think it stems from my yoga practice. I once asked uh, a yoga. I've been doing yoga for a long time, and asked the teacher like, how you know what's the best way to practice? And they said, you know, we practice in a way that allows us to practice tomorrow. So if you're mm. feeling great, you know, you're going to, you know, do the splits for like 10 hours and show everybody in class that you can do Hanumanasana for 10 hours. And, oh, maybe you might not come be able to practice tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's the best way to practice, you know. Um, so you might want to do Hanumanasana for whatever, two hours or whatever, you know, th- so that you can do the posture tomorrow. That's perfect. Thank you. I'm going to use that across my whole life, not just writing, right? It's, uh, well, that, so I can that, come back it, tomorrow. It's not a ba- yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not a bad way to. It's not a bad way to. Um, to be, and it's funny because then you think about it on the next level. I mean, so so I no a sidebar. So somebody the other day, so I'm hanging out with these actors all the time, which is joyful because I'm doing plays for the play gear and I get to hang out with the actors in the show. So we get to like, get to see what the acting life is like, which is really, really cool. And they're amazing artists, uh, performing artists. It takes so much to show up and and do what they do every night after night and make it new and keep it fresh and all that. So during one of the breaks we had, one of the pauses, um, one of the actors had a, a little funny thing on, on their phone, you know, that was a circle. Like, and they were playing like, ha I'm hypnotizing you. So they were going around and pretending they were hypnotizing people. It was really funny. People were laughing and they were like, why is it always that people, when you get hypnotized in these, you know, situations, people always hypnotize you to be a chicken. You know, you see on little shows like, ha you're being hypnotized to be a chicken. And I was like, huh, that's what the world is doing. It's trying to hypnotize you to be a chicken, to be afraid. So we're going to practice in such a way that's going to, allow us to come back tomorrow, which is, sounds like you're setting yourself up for like the karmic wheel to be like trapped on the karmic wheel, but actually it frees you from it. Hmm. You see, does anybody follow me except me? I think I'm following myself, but yeah, Rebecca has, okay, some people, you you know what I mean? So you're, you're, you're practicing in such a way that you're allowing yourself to show up tomorrow, which isn't like forcing yourself into that next life, you know? I have to come back tomorrow, not that kind of tomorrow, but you're actually freeing yourself to, um, yeah. So you don't have to be hypnotized into being a chicken because the world is trying to hypnotize us into being chickens, not foul, not. That's what it looks like in a, in a, in a fun comedy sketch. You're being hypnotized, but actually underneath that, the world is trying to go be afraid. You know, media is trying to scare us. And sometimes it's effective. There's my soapbox. 
Ik kan dat maar zo pakken. But is that, so that, is that is that helpful though? Yeah, it's super helpful. And well, I mean, in fact, I'm in a part of my story. I'll just say where I'm talking about my career in media and the truth and the fantasy. So it rings. It really resonates that, okay. what you just said. Yeah. Thank you. you thank you so much, SLP. Thank you, everyone. You go, Onward. Good for you. Onward. Thank you. Well, looks like Nancy has a question, and then Gerald will ha will have you after. Hi. Thank you, everyone. Hi. Thank you. I saw the play this autumn. Oh, it was unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Um, so I I have two questions. I'll be brief. One is a matter of tone. I, I find that I there's a part of me that I'm naturally poetic. I'm you know filled with a mystical blah -de yada yada, sometimes self-righteous. Mm -hmm. Uh because I believe in things. I'm an activist. And then mm -hmm. there's the cynical, very funny part that's a little bit, it's not punk. I'm never it was never punk, but it's got a little bit of an edge. And I uh -huh. don't know how to bridge the two. And I don't know if I have to, but I think it 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 does disqualify me from having a real voice because it's who am I channeling today? They're very they're they may it may all stem from the same root system, but I'm I'm not sure. And I think it's like I, I I'm in a little writing thing every, every now and then and one of the one of the people has done these sort of you know little books come out in little books and she went to Columbia and she has a very specific voice it's very funny she's funny it's very specific it's always you know it's her and and I sometimes think I don't know who, I, I could be um Nathaniel Hawthorne <laughs> it's not really but that's just weird and I don't know if it's because I saw so many movies that sometimes my writing comes out in this formalistic way but I don't I just um that's the that's the one thing and the other thing which may play into it also is how do you stay in your seat how do you not feel the urge to go up to CUNY and see this dissident Russian director showing little bits of movement from the cherry orchard instead staying oh, home and oh, doing your, your dharma i i mean when do you know huh? you don't need to see any more at least for a while huh? when it's all in there and that's the two mm -hmm. questions oh, sorry maybe uh -huh. other people have those questions so it's not huh. it's, it's great nancy because it, it's like we could you know we could all mush it all together in one question but maybe not maybe it's like several questions it's like your question is like who am i <laughs> like who am i and where am i yeah. You know, okay. Like, am I am I funny? Am I punk? Am I both? Is there a way to be both at the same time? Is Why there? not? Of course there is. Of course, you're just a, you're just a, you're, okay. So you're you're not a, 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 a like your friend from Columbia. You're not a daffodil. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. You're a flat, you're, you're your own kind of flower. You get to be that. You can be, I mean, you know, in theater, we have those masks. I don't know who, who made those up. The mask of comedy and tragedy It's both. You know, I mean, all these people are talking about gender fluid. A gender can be fluid. Your voice can be fluid. You can be both. You don't have to be either or. You don't have to be, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you know, please. Be, really? You know. Totally. You can be yourself. Yes. Yes, of course. You can be both. You can be you can be funny in one breath and tragic in another breath. And you can be you can synthesize. Of course you can. You don't have to just be a recognizable daffodil, although, you know, daffodils are nice. But the voice, it doesn't throw people there. It doesn't give people agitation because it sounds so awkward and different and from from another. What, why should I care? Right. First of all, no, 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 no. Sure, you should care. But I mean, what? It's not it's not it makes people feel agitated. It makes people feel. No, I think in some of my the film work I've done, I, I think there's been a question of 
there's a tone that I have that has turned some people right off right off I thought I was just I was being me and being funny but it just turned people off they found as I don't know smarky something so I was aware that that is something that can affect what you're trying to say it you know because what you're trying to say is coming from you and if you is you is sort of you know I don't know it's it, Sure you do. Sure. You're, you're, I mean, I think Nancy, I think you, you we're, we're going to give you permission to be your authentic self, whoever that is. I don't know who it is. It might turn some people off. It might make some people go, wow, cool. But I think if you keep giving the signal, you said, I mean, if you give it in fits and starts and don't really put enough out there so we can tell that it's coming from you, then you'll never give yourself a chance to be whoever it is that you are. So keep going, you know, and, and your voice will refine and develop along the way. And you're allowed to write differently today than you did 30 years ago. If you were writing 30 years ago, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Picasso went through his phases. You're allowed to go through yours. Mm. Da Vinci did lots of different things, didn't he? You're allowed to do different things. I mean, we, these boxes that we're told that we should be, that we should put ourselves in to make other people comfortable. I think that does a disservice to all creatures everywhere, you know? Yeah. So, so that's that. But I, And I can't remember your second question. Could you just quickly remind me of oh, what it uh, was? St staying in the chair and not running. Yeah, just other right. People who, right. So, you know, yeah, want to so, be inspired by. And yeah. maybe... You want to go uptown and you want to go and see somebody doing something? Sure. I mean, if you feel the urge, you know, bring your, what do you write on primarily your phone your computer your what what the computer great do you do you write on do you have an, an ipad or a do you take notes on your phone or do. A, do you have I no do. Uh, i take yeah i do both yeah 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 great so when you go if you feel driven to go and see blah 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 whatever you were saying uh, someone else's show bring your notebook whatever that means to you and keep working wherever you are yeah yeah if you ride the subway work on the subway yeah. if you ride the bus work on the bus if you take an uber or a taxi ride in the taxi cab if you're waiting before the show starts take a few notes yeah sure go Sure. I mean, so it, it's, a, it's a temperament thing. Some of us like to go out and always see all that there is to see. Some of us don't. Some of us are somewhere in between. Again, you you are allowed to be yourself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm you no, know. I'm serious. Yeah, no. It I, sounds I, silly, but you're 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 really yeah. allowed to be yourself. You're right. I know. Mm. Yeah. No, just but you 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 feel more comfortable the more you practice being yourself. Because who else are you going to be, really? Oh, no. It's not, not, right. not at this point. And then be, the, be, be, the, be the snarky, funny, dramatic voice. Be, be, the, be the combination voice. I mean, be that person. And, and stop listening to your friend from Colombia. Well, you know? you know, it was funny because we do these prompts. And when she said to me, you know, I, I think you're a novelist. It, she didn't say it as if it were a good thing because, you know, she just writes these wonderful essays that are, you know, they're complete in themselves. And I do start things that almost sound like they're going to be the beginning of something. You know. but I don't plan to write that whole novel. I, I don't you know, limit, idea. limit, limit, limit your time with her. Okay. Spend more yeah. time with you. Yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta get yourself your yourself uh, tape, uh, you know, repaired up in here, yeah. so that the words coming out of your mouth and going into your head are affirming and supportive of your process, whatever that is. And you're gonna find out the more you do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, next up, we have Gerald. You should be able to unmute now. Hi. Can you hear me? Okay. I hope it's not too loud. I I also I adored 
plays for play gear for the play gear too it was absolutely gorgeous and cathartic and beautiful um my question's about dialogue and I feel like how maybe this is ridiculous to ask but having your characters sound different you know that's what I I was struggling with right now is um that I feel like there's the sameness even though I they're very different people they I want to make them have a different cadence and I can't figure out what the best way to do that is. And also, mm -hmm. can I ask what the other question I have is if I'm writing a, a one act, is it a bad idea to prove it, to present too many characters? Like, is there like, oh, you know, don't, don't have more than five people in a one act. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure that you know Columbia University has some sort of. <laughs> I mean, all these, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm I'm sure that some of one some some town some writing program in some town has some great formula in which you're only supposed you know your titles of your play should only be one word. I've seen that a lot. Somebody start that that rule, and they should only have more than they can't have more than half characters. You know um garbage you know have as many characters as you want have a million characters why not in a one act whatever you, you know you, you do you do you, you're telling a story you know um so that's that's that so have as many characters as you think you need to have and you know if you want them to double and triple up by act you know if you, you when you come to production then you have to think about how am i going to cast this and that's a different a whole different conversation so write the story as you think you should write it and the second thing is how to make your character sound different, correct? Yes. Right. So you say, and you say they all sound the same. And but what? you're sure they're are you sure they're different characters? Oh, that's a good question. Maybe I'm being I feel like I not completely the same, but or I worry about that, but they are different characters. Or okay, maybe that's, that's great. No, 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 yeah. no. It was just a question. It's like a yes or no. You yeah. know, it's not, I mean, I'm not, you know. Yeah. So if there are different characters, so first we have to establish that they are different characters. So if they are different characters, then then we can employ a mathematical formula or a truth a, a, a truth in geometry that also works in writing, I think. Um, so do you know the you know geometry, right? I mean, you heard of it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you heard of one of the good, there you go. And this is all you need. This is great. Two points make a line. You've heard that, right? Yes. Okay, great. So we do, we apply it to characters, and I'm just making this shit up. So you know, we'll see if it works. Where your character is, where they start, right? Yeah. And where they want to go, right? Like, yeah. you know, like they they're they're in Manhattan, and they want to take. Uh, uh, the Staten Island ferry to Staten Island. Maybe that's the, the, you know, so two points make a line where they go, where they are, where they want to go makes a line of dialogue. Uh, what we want is going to determine what we talk about and how we talk about it. I think, right. Where we are, where we're going, what we're grasping for, what we're reaching for, and 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 what we want is going to give us some indication of what we're talking about and how we're talking about it, right? So an eleven-year-old who wants to get out of the door and be on time for school is going to sound differently from the mom going, wanting the kid to who to wear a clean T-shirt. Understand? That was my morning. <laughs> okay, you see what I mean? Those are that's different. Two two points make a line. Where the character is, what the character where the character is going, create lines of dialogue, and you can follow. So desire is going to help you chart your create your dialogue, and it will help you distinguish characters because different characters are going to want different things. Even if two characters want the same thing, they're going to be two different people if they are in fact different people, which you said they are. 
So see, geometry is very useful. And you thought it was just to pass whatever, seventh grade or whatever. You you can unmute Sorry. now. Yeah, there you go. Now that makes total sense. So it's all about you're so patient. So it's all about wands. So if I go back to their wands, that sure. and geometry. Just just what do they want? Where are they? Where do they start in your play? What do they want? Well, kind of yeah, inform what they're saying. Do you outline? Sometime. All the time, you do. Okay. I didn't outline plays for the play year. You for didn't? example, well, well, <laughs> I, I had no idea what was going on. I, I just show up. Yeah, you show up every day and you go, I'm looking around. What's I going know. on? Blah, blah, blah. You know. So I didn't outline that. I there's mean, a the micro play. Yeah. Not like mm -hmm. each day. Not like, you know. I want Brianna to do this, or I want no. Of course not. No, I didn't want Brianna. Nothing. I said, oh, this is what is ha happening to Brianna right now. This is what is happening to George right now. This is what is happening to Muhammad Jarfour right now. So that was very different. I didn't outline at all. I did, though, out outline, if you will, the commitment to showing up every day and writing so a play or something, a song or something. So yeah. that was a sort of outline, but it was not an outline. Uh, forgive me if that was a crazy question of court. Yeah. No. I mean, let about real. Yeah. But that, no, 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 no. I know. I know what you, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. You just, the idea is to show up and have some kind of a, a structure, some kind of a guide rope to help you again, like we were talking about, like we're talking with Lou, to create a structure so that you can show up tomorrow. Yeah. Show up tomorrow. I want to create something today so I can show up tomorrow. Do whatever I can so that I can show up tomorrow. That's kind of, uh, that's one component of playing the game. Yeah. It really helps. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great question, Gerald. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Megan, you should be able to. Okay. Oops. Hi, SLP. I, I saw your show on Saturday and I met you up in front of the public afterwards and I was able to make it today. So thank um, you so much. Oh, uh, I'm, it was so inspiring. Um, so I'm kind of like, I guess you would say still an emerging playwright. I've been an actor for an eternity. So this is a new world and I, you know, nothing like singing every day. I know how to do all that, but it's different. Mm -hmm. Like now also inhabiting the world as a playwright. Mm -hmm. But really what I wanna ask you about is the power of the timer. You mentioned the timer and this is why you mm -hmm. use the timer. So what's right. the power of the timer? Sorry, my dog had a lot of us barking. That's okay, the power of the timer. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's uh. I mean, the power of a timer that looks kind of sort of something like this, as opposed to the power of a timer that might look something like this, right? So let's put this down for a minute. If you're going to use a timer, I would suggest, if you can afford it, to buy one that is a, just a timer. So that you won't be tempted. I'm tempted to scroll them, you know. <laughs> Right. So I'm tempted. So I would suggest getting a timer that's just a timer that will already give you a, such a significant edge, I think, over, you know, being tempted to look at other people's business or your own business or whatever. OK. And then so if we're just talking about this, the power of this is that it gives you a way to measure. Uh, let's just say your success. Let's just say, that, you know, right. Your success. So your success is, um, I'm going to show up for 10 minutes every morning and write. And when that time you set the timer, when it goes off, 10 minutes, bit, 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 you're, you, you're successful. And how great is that? It's amazing. And, and you just, you know, if you're beginning or even if you've been at it for a while, sometimes 
You just need to accumulate success. Every day you get a win and that helps. It's like saving money. You know, anybody here, you know, have a bank account or hope it's not all in Bitcoin, but you know what I'm saying, right? If it is <laughs> in gold instead, but um, no, but the idea is to, you know, you put a little bit away every month, you know, compounded interest. That's what we're talking about. Um, it's a great way of looking at it because I've always been, well, I'm going to write now and I'll write for hours, which is kind mm -hmm. of, then I won't write the next day or I won't write for two or three days, but I have that exact same timer. So I will, I will use that. And it's very helpful because it's actually setting me up for success. Today, I'm successful because I wrote for 10 minutes. It's wonderful. Exactly. Or you can say, if you like longer spend the time, I mean, 10 minutes is just a guy, you know, you can do an hour or two hours or whatever. I mean, whatever you want. Uh, but every day, try to well, show. Well, that's what I, I would think. It's, I think it's more effective when you show up daily than if you show up, you know, look at me, I'm writing for five hours and then three weeks go by and I don't write anything. And then I show up again for seven hours. I mean, sure, you can do that. It's just... I just find that kind of tedious. I call that unnecessary drama. This is my opinion. Other writers have their own way of doing things. I like necessary drama. I don't have time for unnecessary drama, right? I like drama that like, yes. Not drama that like, ugh. like vritti, you know, we say in yoga, like fluctuations of the mind. You know what I mean? So I just like to yeah show up every day and modest in your habits. And you can be like Flaubert said, be, what does he say? Be modest in your habits so that you can be violent and original in your work. Yeah. I like that. Great. But, well, but I, some people like to be, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's fine too. Well, I'm going to give it a go this week. There you go. And, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. There you go. And as much as you can, Megan, since you've been an actor for a long time, borrow heavily from a field where you have had success. You learned a lot. You know, you learn a lot being an, an actor. So, you know, again, it's 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 very structured. You have your half hour call. The stage manager comes in and says five minutes places that you guys are on. You're organized. You know, those organizational skills can help you in your in your playwriting as you're getting started borrow from what you know it's right. like a gold mine you, you know so much already thank you so much you're welcome thank you megan uh we have time for maybe one more question we have a few minutes left Mona, you will be our final question. You should be able to unmute now. Hi there. We'll add to the love of plays for the play gear. Not to one up anyone, but I saw it twice in November and once oh, <laughs> last week. And I'll be there tomorrow. It's my date, oh. my date with friends. I'm like, let's go see this. So it's just, Thank you. It's very, very, very moving and cathartic. So, um, my question I know we don't have much time. Um, this, I'm working on a project, and um, I recently, 
you know, there was sort of two books I came to find out about and I sort of felt like, oh, are they sort of writing something that's like related to what I, hmm. at, for my, pro like that my project is. And, and I was kind of like, don't, don't read it because <laughs> like, what if they're already doing your idea if I just say, you know, what my sort of, or like, but then the other part of me is like, I wanted, you know, what's out there. So I know what's, what's out there. And, and, that, and it's not a dissertation. It's not like I have to prove some, do you know what I mean? I don't have to do exhaustive research, but obviously I, you know, hope it is original. Um, and I just wondered if you have any thought on that. And I will say, I notice if I like a certain writer or something and I read them a lot, I, and then I just write, I find like, oh, I'm probably like borrowing some of it, you know, aspects. Just kind of uh -huh. You know, I would say, so. Mona, don't read them. If, if you're bar, if you tend to sort of borrowing aspects, you know, un unconscious, it's not bad. It's not bad. I would say, yeah. do your work, do your work. Yeah. And if you should happen to maybe talk about some of the themes in somebody else's work, you can find that out later. And you're, we can work with your editor okay. to maybe focus your work more specifically on other topics. But because you sometimes might, oh, look, up, you know, unconsciously borrowing things, I would say mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. write your, write yours, write yours. Don't let anything stop you, um, or don't let anybody else who's talking about a similar thing get in your head right now. I would say write your okay. work. You do you. Be beautiful and brilliant. And down the road, after you have the end on it or whatever you don't, you know, then you find out, oh, someone else talked about it too. Then your works are in conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, you can honestly say that my work is in, con I didn't yes. read your work before I wrote mine. Because you didn't. Yeah, yeah. And you can honestly, honestly right. say that. And if they are similar, then that's, that's because the topic is similar. They have some things in common. Right. You know? Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's helpful. I guess there's no reason why I need to read it. it it's not, no, no, I, I don't think, I don't think right now, I don't think so. Especially since you mm. might borrow something. Mm -mm, no, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to get into that. Write your work and write it. Yeah. Is it a long piece you're going to be writing? Is it a long piece or a short piece? It's well, it's um yet to be written, but um it's a, it's a, a book and uh yeah, yeah I, I was yeah. I was approached by an editor to write a book and I had had an idea for like a decade and so but so that's okay. kind of so I okay so but I really have no idea how long or I, I'm just sort of going with it right 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 but and that's, since you that's a, a second question I have I know there's no time today but but maybe oh, next week we talk about if you have a, if you have a team. Um, also, if your editor wants to, if your editor knows about this other book, maybe you can ask them, you know, to 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 give you some, you know, as you're writing yours to to help you know like what yeah. material has already been covered. Since you have an editor, yeah. you know that's that's helpful. But um, but we can talk about it some more yeah. next time. We certainly can. Okay, thank you. This was so helpful. Thank you. Okay. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you all. We'll be here next Monday. So see you then. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you.